Well, what it means to me to be on the instructional leadership team is to um, be a support to other teachers, um, whether it be just taking a look at their lessons and seeing where we could tweak them or make them um, better, or it could be for us to kind of let them know what they're doing well, or to have them come in and see what we as the instructional leaders are doing in our classrooms that they might be able to take into theirs. Um, that is the, that, I think that's the most important part of it. I think it's also to help the school develop its curriculum and um, be leaders in actually being a part of developing that curriculum. I wasn't really instructed on what to do as far as how to coach anyone. So coming from the Academy for Urban School Leadership, we had used cognitive coaching before. So I use that model with teachers because I think it's, it's non-intrusive and I believe that a leadership, a, a, an instructional leader is not meant to be the person who um, evaluates teachers. It, you should be a support person for them. So cognitive coaching for me was to go in and talk to the teachers before the lesson and you say, what, what, what am I expecting to see? What should I see when I come into your room? And then I ask them, Are, is there anything that you want me to look for? Is there any part of your practice that you want me to observe, whether it be good or bad, or you know, um, is there any um, interaction with the students that you want me to look at? So I take a couple pieces that I really focus on, and then I take notes for the rest of it, and then um, we just debrief afterwards. And what I do is I ask the teacher, so how did you think it went? Okay. And, and then I say, what do you think went well? What did you think you struggled with? Um, and, then, um, and then I ask them, is it okay if I share what I have with you? Okay. So it's kind of a non-intrusive way to, to coach someone. And I think that works with everyone because you're not going in there and evaluating. 